her voice carries a lot of weight uh, because she can back it up, you know, with her fight and her determination. Gabby McHugh is a star on every court she steps on. She just reached 2,000 career assists at UNCG. But just two years ago, she didn't know if she would ever step foot on a court again. It was actually my wife and I's wedding anniversary, so I'll always remember it for that. Just five days before her high school graduation, Gabby was at a senior bonfire when her whole life changed. Well, a log had just rolled off the fire, and obviously I'm not afraid of fire. I was like, oh, let me just move this log back in the fire. That log hit a pressurized bottle of lighter fluid. It exploded. So flames went up. And all Gabby could hear was, stop, roll, stop, roll. She couldn't even process that she was on fire. I was rolling on the ground. It felt like forever. And when the flames were finally out, I'm just laying on the ground. And I'm in complete shock. Her only focus was on her right leg, arm, and hand. It just hurts. So, like, the worst pain imaginable. The realization of what had happened started to set in when she saw her parents at the hospital. We first saw her, we didn't realize the extent until they actually got her in and saw the light, you know, saw the burns and the light, and they were pretty severe. From around here all the way up, was completely burned. Um, I was wearing a hair tie that day, so I have one ring of normal unburnt skin on my wrist. All the way down, and then we have my flame tattoo. The tip of the flame actually touches right where the burn started. While at the hospital, the doctors were unsure of what her future for volleyball looked like. I'm a setter. Nerve damage in my hand, that freaked me out. But quitting simply isn't an option for Gabby. When she started you know, going through the treatments and stuff, you know, and, and you know, working on it, you know, I could tell she's going to bounce back from this. Rehab for that was close to as painful as being burned alive. Gabby fought all the way back to being able to play her freshman year just a few months later. I didn't think it was ever a question of, you know, would this derail her or would she give up? I knew it was going to be a challenge and she knew it as well, but she responded like she always does. Things happen in life and I mean, it's you can either run from traumatic experiences or you can face them and be like, okay, this happened, but I'm going to move past it. And that's basically what I did. And what she's still doing defying expectations with every hit. There have been moments where I was like, man, like maybe this is a sign that like I shouldn't keep playing. And then I keep playing and I'm like, you know what? Those are just bad thoughts. Like keep going, keep going.